Hello my friends, hello my viewers, hello to whoever the fuck is watching this video. As requested by one of my viewers, I promised that I would go ahead and explain how I downloaded my Wrath of the Lich King World of Warcraft torrent file in order to play on the private server of my most recent video. There are a couple of steps involved and it can be a little bit time consuming, but personally it's well worth it. Now the first step you need to do is you need to make sure you check your hard drive to make sure that you have at least 17 gigs worth of memory, you know, of space in order to download it. The file is 16.6 .6 gigs big uh, and it does require a little bit of time to download. Now for those of you who do not currently have a uTorrent to download, what you need to do is you need to open up your browser and go to this website right here eternal-wow.com when that happens when your web page loads you want to come down to the wiki tab right here and click on this connection guide when that happens you're going to get a web page like this if you are using a Mac go ahead and follow this but for those of you who are using a PC you want to click and download and install the uTorrent file a uTorrent is something that you are, that allows you to download other files and this is basically what it'll look like unless it's an updated version but I haven't touched the updated versions or anything like that so this is what your file will look like you will get something like this once it's downloaded after that is finished you know give it time you want to come back to the web page we are currently on and download your version of WoW that you have, whether you're from Europe or whether you're from the US. Either one, I believe, are the same, and they're both, they both work fine. So what you want to do is you want to click on the file. If you're using Google Chrome, you'll get a little thing down here. If you're using Internet Explorer, you'll probably get a pop-up. Click Open, and it's going to go ahead and it's going to open up in your uTorrent. When that happens, you want to give it time to download. Do not get frustrated. It's gonna depending on you know how fast your computer works. It's, it might take a little bit of time. For me personally, I believe it took me about three hours to download. And for others, it might be faster. For others, it might be longer. You know, if you're the one who wants to do this, just be patient. Because honestly, in my opinion, it's well worth it. So give it time to download. Like I said, it is 16.6 .6 gigs big. So you know make sure you have plenty of room after that have finished there are a couple of steps that we need to go ahead and go over the first one is for those of you who want to play on the private server that I went over on my previous video for those of you who want other private servers please send me a message I can give you a list of a couple I can even create a couple of videos like I did for Zypher Wow just let me know I play on a couple of them both Cataclysm and Wrath of the Lich King, but currently I am mainly playing on Wrath of the Lich King PvP servers. But this video focuses on Zypher WoW. So once your game has downloaded, you need to make sure that you create an account on this website. Z H Y P E R W O W dot com. You're gonna get this right here click account and go ahead and scroll down and click register it's going to ask for a username a password and an email address this is the information that you are going to use in order to log in you do not use your retail information you do not use anything but this account for this private server before I get into things going from there one thing I do need to go over is when it comes to downloading your uTorrent. Now personally what I've learned is that when you download the uTorrent and you try and download it into your program files it ends up for some reason fucking up your retail account if you do have Cataclysm downloaded for retail you don't want to do that. If you are currently playing retail and you still want to have these private servers to fall back on make sure you download it into your documents it does not fuck up gameplay or anything like that honestly it actually makes it easier to handle so what you need to do is select your folder select it under documents once the game is completely finished downloading you're gonna get a folder like this don't worry about these you'll get a folder like this it'll say world of warcraft 
and you're going to get this. Hold on, let me change the, uh... Whoa, what the fuck is going on? It'll look like this. You're going to have your, you know, your data, your interface, etc. This is what you're going to use in order to log in. In order to load up your Wrath of the Lich King private server. So once you have gone ahead and created your account on this server, you want to go back to our eternal wow, whoa, no, that is wrong, I'm lying. What you need to do is you need to keep this folder open, you need to go to your data folder, click NGB or NUS, whichever it says, scroll or select your realm list and it'll, it'll end up opening it up with notepad. If it doesn't, then just right click, click open with, and then select notepad. It'll open up and it'll probably have this long list of whatever, just forget about that. All you need to make it say is this right here. Set realm list log on dot zypherwow dot com. In between the set realm list there's a space and between realm list and log on dot zypherwow dot com there's a space. But right here this is all one it's all combined. So as long as this says exactly what it says right here under your folder, then you're good to go. Click file save. Then you can go ahead and close out of your folders and you're pretty much good from there. Now like I said before, this video is meant for ZypherWow only. These two servers, these two web pages that I have up are two other decent private servers that I go ahead and go in that I've played for a while. I know what they're like and I'll probably end up making videos about them down the road. But as of right now, it is currently just for ZypherWow. Just like my previous video, you know, I have no intentions of going over these at the moment. If you want me to go over them, send me a private message or comment in, uh, you know, below and I'll do what I can. I'll get around to it. But as of right now, these are not to worry about. These are just what I use to download the World of Warcraft torrent. So after that happens, once you've changed the realm list, you've created your account, you want to go ahead and open up your World of Warcraft folder and just double click on this on the application, the WoW application. If you downloaded it the way I said, you'll probably end up getting something like this. Don't worry about any of this. Just click start game and your torrent will start. It'll start up right away. And then you, the game will start up. You log in with the Zypher WoW account information. I don't know how many times I can emphasize that. The Zypher WoW account information. Once you do that, you log in, create your character, start gearing yourself up, go kick some ass, period. You know, that's, that's how it works. So for those of you who did watch this, I hope that it helped. If you have any problems whatsoever, please let me know. Send me a comment, send me a message. I'll do what I can to go ahead and help you so that you are in the same state just like I am. Uh, this has been Trianus, and I will catch you all later uh, in my next video. See ya.